Good, 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 good morning, Stable X. I hope you all slept well. The Overman wishes you a productive and happy day. And here's a personal favorite song of mine to get you through the morning. Another day. Here I stand, my heart at your command. Morning. Hey, butterfly. There's only poker night after work. You in? Yeah, sure. But I'm so far behind schedule. You know what Coral gets like. All right, I'll save you a spot. Thanks, Pastel. Morning, Star. Ugh, food here is never good. Buttercup. It's butterfly. Yeah, that. Whatever. You free tonight? Decidedly not. I should go. You haven't even touched your food. I am suddenly not hungry. You know, that's how you get... Crusader Mainframe Hub 32 active. Good morning, Analyst. Good morning. All right. What stable are we doing? Stable 81 has been assigned to you for today. There have been developments that demand your attention. All right, bring up the most recent logs. Negative. Excuse me? Protocol dictates you must first go through audio logs from the stable's first few years before accessing their live feed. Ah, uh, but that's even more work. Explanation. In order to complete the work of Stable Tech Corporation, you must provide an analysis on the stable you are focusing on for the day to document the results of the social experiments and... All right, all right. I know this already. Jeez. Fine. Start up the logs, but as soon as the clip gets boring, I'm moving to the next clip. That's highly unprofessional. Yeah, well, they don't exactly pay me for this job. Begin playback. Track 01. Five days after the Great War. <clears throat> I'm still... I'm still having trouble getting used to this new stable. The stress must be getting to me because... Ah, oh, I have this, this terrible headache. Next! Track 09. Seven days after the Great War. It's starting to hurt. Oh, goddesses, my head! Next. Track 1-8. Three months after the Great War. Well, I've, I've had several ponies coming to me so far about, you know, with regard to their headaches. So far, it seems everything is going All as... Take us to that one. Track 1-9. Accessing audio from security cameras. Quiet down, everyone, please. I know how much you all have been suffering. It has been a long couple of months. But our medical ponies think they have finally reached a conclusion as to what is going on here. I am sorry to say that we were apparently not able to close the stable doors in time. Some radiation breached the seal and has affected all of us. I know, I know the door is tightly sealed now. The talismans have finally cleaned the air of the contaminant. But it was too late to prevent damage being done. The radiation has affected our DNA, our genetic code. There is a certain chemical in our brains that no longer works, which is why we are now experiencing these horrible and throbbing pains in our heads. I know how much it hurts. I am in just as much pain as the rest of you. Our doctors and scientists have been working non-stop and pushing through their own pain, I might remind you. But we think we have finally found a treatment. We have a synthetic replacement that we are testing 
that should temporarily replace that brain chemical and stop the pain. However, we have only tested it on a small control group so far. So you must please be patient as we continue to refine the medicine. Until then, I need to ask everyone to continue working through the pain. We will be calling you down in small groups, starting with families that have small children. Thank you. All right, find me the next highlighted doctor's log. Actually, no, who was the analyst on this before me? Blue ball. Can you access his notes on the stable? What was the solution to the headaches? Accessing. Just got into Stable 81's logs. Every pony experienced migraines. The doctor's solution was a serum. You spend the day working, and in return you get a few hours without a constant headache. Wow, that's really just awful. It's the other audio logs. What happened next, and... I can't. I'm going to ask for the stable to be transferred to one of the other analysts. That was weird. Right, bring up the next highlighted log from the doctors. One year after the Great War. Glad to see you again, Mr. Haygarth. You're looking better than ever. It's amazing, Doc. I'll go days at a time without my daily dose of the serum, and it doesn't seem to affect me one way or another. I haven't had a headache in weeks. So I've heard. You're one of the patients we've been monitoring very closely since the initial trials. You see, Mr. Haygarth, we believe you are among a small group of ponies who have developed a natural immunity. Your brain has begun producing a new chemical to replace the neurotransmitters that were killed by the radiation. That's great! Oh, it is indeed. We need to run more tests with you and the others. We want to continue studying your brain closely to see if we can induce the same type of change in all the others. At the very least, we'll be able to use some of your blood to develop a much better version of the serum. When you come every day from now on, instead of being given a dose of the serum, we would like to extract one syringe of blood from you. Oh, yeah. Of course I can do that. It'll be saving a lot of lives, Mr. Haygarth. Thanks to you, we can continue to push medical science for the good of every pony in the stable. Audio feed has been pulled from security camera. This audio recording takes place 180 years after the Great War. 16 years before today. Damn, Lugnut. <laughs> Rough day down in the shops? Oh, for fuck's sake, Orchard. Can't we talk after I get my dose? Hey, it's not my fault you get bothered by the hallway lights. Maybe if you lost a few pounds, your dose would actually last the whole day like it's supposed to. Uh... Easy, man. I'm just joking. Is it because of honeydew? Well, I told her that she shouldn't switch to the night shift. She changed her dosage schedule, and now she can't seem to get used to the new cycle. So I try to stay up with her until she goes to work. Uh, it's really cutting into my sleep. But she wanted to help fill in. After what happened to Apricot. Oh, goddess, that's right. Did they ever find out how he did it? It turns out he broke the lock on a chemical cabinet and plunged a syringe of liquid bleach into his neck. Fuck. I guess at some point you just can't take the pain anymore. It must be nice living with saffron. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You ain't hearing no complaints from me. I don't know how I got an immune mare to fall for me. Between her rocking hips, sweet smile, and poison-free blood, I consider myself the luckiest stallion in all of Stable 81. Have they found out about your daughter yet? Mm, no, not yet. They said the immunity usually presents itself after she gets her mark. And with the way she's been coming along in her science classes, I think that'll happen any day now. I'm happy for you, Orchard. Say hi to Saffron for me, and I'll be wishing the best for Pink Pippin. Thanks, Lugna. Send my best to Honeydew. I do hope she feels better. The next relevant data occurs three days later.
You must be Pink Pippin. Yes, I am, but you can just call me Pinkin. Well, then it's nice to meet you, Pinkin. My name is Dr. Needle. Please, come inside. So I was told that some little filly just got her mark. <gasps> yes! Yes, I did! See? A volumetric flask. Well, I'm not surprised they sent you here now. It won't be long until I'm calling you Dr. Pinkin. That would be so amazing! I'll promise I'll work very hard! I have no doubt about that. From now on, you'll be coming here every morning, and I'll make sure your full eight-hour workday is full of learning and new experiences. Now that you have your mark, you can begin your life's journey of discovery, science, and medicine for the greater good of every pony in the stable. And beyond. I will? Yes, you will. And that means you will soon have a much deeper understanding of the world and everything that makes us who we are. I suspect you have already heard a few things about our work. Your mother is immune, isn't she? Yes, she is. I'm immune to the pain also. It is with that... Gift that doctors like us can work towards further discovery so that we can help our fellow pony. You see, the pain is caused by an error in the mind. Something that's been there from the very beginning. When the stable door couldn't seal fast enough? Yes, of course. And that error has carried down through the generations. Except for a special group of ponies, like your mother, who have developed a natural immunity to that error. Because my mom's brain produces a different kind of neurotransmitter, so the dead kind that so many other ponies have doesn't build up in her brain, causing the pain. You are a smart one, aren't you? Do you know the full scientific name of the condition? Necrosia brosis! You are going to do great things, Pinkin. We'll be finding out soon enough if you have been blessed with the gift, too. It's not always a sure thing. Especially when one of your parents isn't immune. So, there's a chance I won't be immune? Does that mean I won't be able to be a doctor like you? It will mean your life journey might progress down a, a different path. But we won't worry about that until we know for sure. I'll schedule you for an immunity trial next week. Until then, how about we get you fitted with a lab coat? Yes, please. What's up with that sound? The analyst at the time managed to hack into Pinkin's cookbook as she was walking out of the office and activated the audio recording. I insisted. That was one hell of a risky move. Hello? Lugnut? You in there? Get out! Get the fuck out! Fuck off! Is that... is that honeydew? Nothing relevant was flagged within the next week by analysts. Alright, bring in the next log after a week. Are you feeling better, Orchard? No, I'm not. I'm fine. It's okay. I made you some tea. Here, drink. Yeah. You've got to start talking about it. Pinky bursts in, says Lugnut yelled at her. She was in tears, Saffron. I, I go to give Lugnut a piece of my mind, and... Uh, honeydew. His wife, she was just hanging from that rope. And then the sound of it. She detached the other end of one of the big ceiling lights. I could hear the glass starting to crack. There was just a moment of silence before the whole thing shattered and she... She... A corpse hitting the floor is a sound that sticks. Sticks in my head. And Lugnut, he's been bad at work, Saffron. We're working the rivets yesterday and he just kept pounding on the wall until half the rivets had popped out. I mean, I know he's a big guy, but I thought he was going to crack his hooves into pieces. They were all bloodied and raw by the end. I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, I know she was having a hard time adjusting. But suicide? 
I never thought Honeydew was capable of it. Were the doctors able to give her a, a supplement dose, something to help her get by? According to Lugna, they weren't. Still not enough to go around. Oh, goddesses. I would have given her some of my blood if I could help. Now, now, don't say that. This has nothing to do with you. You already give too much as it is. I'm so sorry to hear it, though. Do you know when the funeral is? Saturday. Damn, I hate pulling out that suit. I might like the thing more if it didn't make me think of death so much. Listen, I don't want him to be alone much right now. Is it okay if I take him to Stormbrews afterwards? Just to keep him company? Oh, yes, of course, dear. He could use a friend right now. I don't know what I'd do without you. Mom, Dad, I'm home! Hey there, Pinkin. How's my little doctor? I got back the test results from Dr. Needle. I have the immunity! Congratulations, sweetie. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. My two beautiful, perfect mares. Oh, come on, we should celebrate. Who wants to go out for smoothies? I do. Me too. It's their fault, Green Orchard. I begged them, plead with them as much as I could, but they wouldn't let me do it. Lugna, you've been suffering yourself. You couldn't have given her your dose of serum. Honeydew wouldn't have wanted that. And you wouldn't have been able to work. You wouldn't have been able to get your serum anyway. Then why is my wife dead, Orchard? Why didn't it work anymore? Why was she in pain? Uh, I don't know, Lugnut. Changing to a nocturnal schedule is a big shift to get used to. It sometimes messes with your head and can mess with the dosage of the serum. Don't understand the science behind it. That's why we have doctors working all the time trying to find ways to make better serum or one day create a cure. And you ever think to question those doctors? What do you mean? Why would I question them? How about the fact that only the immune can become full doctors? That all the rest become just chemists or technicians or nurses? Why is that? You know perfectly well why that is. The serum is far from perfect. Do you really want doctors who have to do so much intensive thinking and researching to have their thoughts clouded? Then why don't they have the same restriction for the server people? Huh? The ponies running all the big computers down on level 7. They're not like us. They can't just set themselves on autopilot and work through an apple harvest or, or finish riveting a wall panel. If they make mistakes on something so important as medicine that we all take every day, it would be catastrophic. Probably because the server ponies take their orders directly from the Overmare, who also has to be immune. The doctors are good ponies, probably the best ones in the stable. They're the stallions and mares keeping us alive, and one day my daughter is going to be one too. Well then she'll see for herself, and prove to all of us how much we've become mindless fools. Something's going on. I just know it. I'll tell you what's going on. You're drunk, and you're grieving, and I'm taking you back to your room. We're done for now. I'm caught up. Shall I begin playback of the most recent files? Tell you what, start prepping this year's audio logs. Everything Blueball highlighted up till any logs made this morning. Understood. Now whilst you're doing that, I'm going out for a bit. Are you certain of this course of action? You are still behind schedule. If you do not complete a full analysis of the Experiment 81 before the day's end, I must inform your supervisor of your- I'll get it done. You're worse than Coral, I swear. It's just a quick cup of coffee. I need to get my head away from all these depressing experiments. They're bumming me out. There is no need to secure coffee. The mechanic, Spare Parts, was in after your shift ended, installing a coffee dispenser in this unit. Apparently, you now owe her a favor. You're kidding me. I'm never leaving work ever again if this is a thing. You have to leave occasionally to keep up with the important schedule mandated to the analysts. Remember that tomorrow morning you must attend a counseling session. Counseling? Ridiculous rule. I don't need counseling to make me feel better. I feel fine. It's just because some whiny kids who couldn't do their damn jobs properly uh -uh. and- A rant is not conductive to an efficient work environment. Oh, right. Back to it. This year's, please. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Excuse me. Oh, Pinkin, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to get through the crowd. I've never seen the crowd so big before. Oh, it's that damn maintenance buck. 
lug nut. He keeps organizing these protests, demanding more transparency. How on earth do they expect to understand all the details and complexities of the science? After eight years of my tutelage, even you still don't know everything. Well, no matter. Always remember, Pinkin. We do what we do for the greater good. It doesn't matter what any pony else thinks, or if they even comprehend the full depth of the reality. What matters is that we are doing the right thing. Well, yeah. I don't get what's so controversial about purifying blood plasma. Why, nothing at all. In fact, we finally have that new centrifuge up and running. You should have today's batch separated in no time. Then later, I'll show you the scans we did of your brain last week. Ah, oh, it's so fascinating watching the development of the pubescent mind. Yeah? Are you all right, Pinkin? Oh, hello, Dr. Vessel. I was just, well, does Dr. Needle seem more eccentric today? Oh, that. Yes, she has been working very hard lately. I have a running a variety of different tests for me. I'm hoping we can create a more concentrated bonding compound for the plasma in the necrocerebriosis serum. I think part of the problem is temperature. We need to chill the serum even lower than freezing so that it can reach the brain before reaching blood temperature. Has that been the problem? Is that why the serum effectiveness is dropping? It's my prevailing theory. But I can tell you that all this protesting isn't helping. If things get any worse, they could start a mass panic. We need to assure them that the serum does work and we have enough of it to go around. If any pony asks you about it, be sure to stress that fact. The last thing we need is for misinformation to spread through the populace. Lies can spread like a virus and be just as destructive. Of course. I'm going down to the cold storage lab. Just message me if you need me and I'll come right up. Have fun with that new centrifuge. Yeah, I will. What's next? The most recent is from last night. All right, bring it up. Hey, Mom, Dad, I'm home. Oh, Pinkin, thank goodness you're all right. Why wouldn't I be? <gasps> Dad, what happened? Well, I went to see an old friend today when I found this paper under our door this morning. The doctors are lying to us. They are not ponies of welfare and goodwill. They are weakening the serum to control us. There are more questions left unsolved. Yesterday afternoon, there was an air vent discovered that leads directly into the main fan coil unit. It is not shown on any blueprints, but it leads directly up to the medical levels. What do they need to pump into the air? How come no pony else knew about it? What if they're the source of the pain? Demand answers. We want the truth now. One of these was placed under the door of every residential room. The Overmare has already taken Lugnet into custody, but they don't know yet who's working with him. Honey, I don't want you to go to work for a few days. We're going to stay right here until this gets resolved. Okay, I will. But what about Dad? He can't miss his dose. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be fine. Can you give me a live feed on Pinkin's pit buck? Blue Ball already set it up, right? Of course. One moment, please. Connection established. Please return to your room. Delta in place. Stable security are searching for an escape coming. Please return to your room. Delta in place. Stable security are searching for an escape coming. Dad, we're not waiting anymore. If you continue on like this, you're going to die. No, no, I'll be okay. It's too dangerous. She's right, dear. You can't go on like this. Mom, I know the back way to the medical room. I can be down and back in just a few minutes. Please be safe. I will. The experiment is falling to pieces. I disagree. I am surprised you did not catch on as to what is truly occurring in the stable. Just the mare I was waiting for. Grab her. No, please, stay back. How can you do this? You used to be such a nice stallion. You and my dad were friends. But then everything changed when... Go ahead. Finish your thought. Everything changed when my wife killed herself. Just like so many other ponies in Stable 81 end up killing themselves. And do you know why? Do you know why? 
Because we're in pain, not them. Somehow they've given themselves the cure, the real cure, to whatever poison they've been pumping into the air all these years. And they've given ponies like you the cure, too, because they want you for something. They want to make you one of them. Don't worry, Pink Pippin. I know you're not one of them. At least, not yet. I'm going to save you today, free you from whatever bondage they were going to tighten around you. All I need is for you to open the door. No, please. You, you killed them. Not necessarily. We just want answers. We just want the truth. Once we have that, we can properly decide what punishment they deserve. I'm guessing Green Orchard only has a few hours left. We're going to get into this room one way or another, but if you don't open the door for us, it will take much longer. Your dad might not get his dose in time. Open the door, Pink Pippin. Thank you. Every pony on the floor, drop to your haunches with your front legs in the air. Well, well, if it isn't Mr. Left Brain and Mrs. Right Brain. Where is the other man? What happened to the guards? Oh, they're all dead. In fact, Circabuild is preparing the Overmare Terminal for transfer right now. You killed the Overmare? So that's what this is all about. Power! You just want to be in charge. How dare you lecture me on power! You have literally had all of us on a chemical leash from the beginning! What are you pumping into the air? Where is this permanent immunity? Not this daily dosage horse shit that you keep a slave to. You will never have the immunity. There is no way to fix the unfixable. I disagree, Dr. Vessel. I think you know exactly where it is. Why don't we go down into your so-called cold storage laboratory and find it? Once you go down there, it will only cause you more pain. And there will be no stopping it. Fine. Wait! No! No! Dr. Needle, you're the only one left. You better start talking, otherwise we'll have to torture you. Just like you've been torturing all of us all these years. Except, instead of a syringe, I've got a shotgun. I could hobble your legs, one at a time, until you crawl your way down to the cold storage laboratory. That won't be necessary. I'll take you down there. Well, that's what I wanted to hear. Tinkin, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't have time to explain. Get moving, Nag. You can explain on the way. This is awful. The Overmare's dead. The stable's a total failure. We should prepare the stable for the failure protocol. By the goddesses, you've got quite the setup down here. Wait a minute. This is... My own writing. These are the vials of plasma I separated last weekend. These are the vials of plasma I separated last year. Why are these down here? They should have been converted into serum and distributed by now. You see, Pinkin, we don't actually use the plasma from the blood in the serum. What? What do you mean? That's one of the main ingredients. The blood plasma of patients that are immune get absorbed by the blood of the patient, which allows them to produce simitocin. What have you done to us? How do we shut down the poison? There's nothing to shut down. That air duct hasn't been used for over a century. What are you talking about? I'm surprised the experiment has worked as well as it has. If I were a part of the original medical staff, I would have bet that it'd fall apart with mere months. Experiment? I know it! I know it all along! You fuckers killed my wife! We did no such thing. Your wife killed herself. Just like all the others. The only thing we have done is prove how broken and imperfect you all are on the inside. No more doublespeak! Give me a straight answer, bitch! Just look at yourself. You are all a bunch of fools. You've worked yourselves into a frenzy, slaughtered dozens of ponies. Most of them innocent guards just trying to keep the peace. Just the smallest amount of doubt or misfortune, and you turn into mindless monsters. In a way, that's exactly what happened with the Great War. 
two sides, lying to each other, reacting and overreacting until they finally blanket the surface with bale fire and death, just to prove a point. What in the fuck is the point of keeping creatures like that alive? Preserving those kinds of monsters for future generations and unleashing them on the world once again? We knew we had to do something. We had to find a way to rise above our corrupted selves and actually return from the depths as a better race of ponies. So that's how the experiment began. As soon as we shut the stable door, we began filtering a compound into the air supply to cause intracranial inflammation. We basically induced painful chronic migraines in the entire population of ponies. And that included the original Overmare and all the scientists. If it didn't look real, the experiment wouldn't work. From there we told them the story of the radiation damage and the flawed neurotransmitters. Something so intensively scientific that only those whom we had access to the knowledge or equipment to even test one's brain chemistry. Once everyone believed the story, we began running the initial serum trials. The first batch worked like a charm because it was an actual treatment that stopped the migraines we had caused. Soon we tapered down the chemical in the air so that after a few weeks there was nothing in the air to cause the pain in the first place. But by that point, all the ponies in the stable believed that without getting their dose of serum once a day, they would slip into this horrible episode of pain, so much so that they wouldn't be able to even think straight. And because they believed that, they made it so. Even though the air was perfectly clean, with no inflammatory toxin, most of the ponies in the stable still got the horrible, painful headaches anyways. Until we gave them a serum, which was nothing more than chilled saline solution, water, salt, and food coloring. For effect. Oh, God, is this? Among those first 500 ponies, about 25 of them realized that they didn't get the migraines either way. They were the special ponies that we were looking for. You see? One thing was true about the experiment. We needed minds that truly were wired differently. Ponies whose brains were built to look past all of the lies and deceit that the subconscious would play against itself. These were ponies whose brains would put logic first over emotion, who will one day run the world differently and not plunge it into war because of feelings and imagination. You're... you're lying. Th there's no way that could be true. I felt the pain. I once went days at a time without the serum. And I almost slipped into a coma. Surprising, isn't it? Because if we doctors can be blamed for anything, it could be the initial virus that we released to all of you. By that point, you were terminally ill. So horribly sick in the head that your brain would kill itself for no other reason than it believes it's dying. All we had to do was watch and record the findings. The first batch of foals were born in the stable, and, big surprise, babies cry. Which meant the parents believed their brains had the damage as well. So from the moment they emerge from the womb, the parents are telling them that they need to get their daily dose of serum, or they'll suffer horrible headaches and pain. The parents successfully passed the infection on to their children. And because we are good doctors, we give all children their doses for free. 
feeding the ignorant infection of the parents, pacifying them. That is, up until the age the foals get their mark and begin to work for the good of the stable. Then they have to earn their dose. After seven or eight years, they have settled into the belief of the pain. So when they first started experiencing it for themselves, the first doctors knew that we were on the verge of discovery. That was the true birth of necrocerebriosis, a horrible, deadly infection of the mind caused by the pain that is completely fabricated and imagined based on the stories of our ancestors. Yo! Sick! Fox! So, all this time the serum has been... Saline. Water, salt, and food coloring. Although the immunity blood ritual isn't pointless, we are storing all of the blood plasma for future study and experimentation. It's the same reason we preserve the bodies of every person who is immune to necrocerebriosis. They... We truly are the next step of pony civilization. The lie has made it so that we are more desirable. That's why the population of the stable is now almost 33% immunity instead of the 5% at the beginning. The experiment was meant to conclude when there were no ponies left with the disease. Broken minds. It is us, the logical the rational, that will make this world a better place. But every other pony has to die. That is the way things are. Then why now? Why hasn't the serum been working if, if it's all in their heads? <sighs> Apparently, the main cooler that we keep the saline in has finally been breaking down after all these decades. But the broken dial meant neither Dr. Vessel nor myself noticed. It finally reached this point where the serum was a warm enough temperature that the ponies were feeling the difference. The familiar ice-cold temperature was now warmer than before. So their subconscious responded by imagining that the serum was less effective. So the headaches would come back faster. That's what happened. That's what caused the spike in suicides. We had been maintaining the uh, doses but we couldn't figure it out. And we couldn't add new perimeters to the experiment without knowing everything in effect. I only discovered the serum cooler was broken a few weeks ago, which is why I've been so frenzied trying to fix it so that we can get things working again. You're saying my wife is dead because the salt water wasn't cold enough? In her case, yes. But ever since then, Mr. Lugnut, you have spread an entirely new disease amongst the population. In your drunken misery, you instigated so much fear and doubt that the dose no longer worked. And, like a plague, you spread that disease to everyone of the sick minds in the stable, so that every imaginary cure to the imaginary disease no longer worked. I'd say every dosage death and every suicide since your wife was entirely your fault. My father doesn't have a sick mind. You do! This is the most recent... Shut up. This audio log is... Shut up. Analyst, are you aware of the policy on stables which are unable to carry on the experiments of the Stable Tech Corporation? I know. In the event of a stable succeeding in its assigned purpose, the analyst has the power to open the stable door herself. In the event of a total experiment failure, the analyst must purify the stable and dispatch a recovery agent to recover items of value from the stable in question. In this situation, it is your duty as an analyst Could you the just shut the hell up? Just shut up and let me think. I was under the impression not ten minutes ago that you did not care for this stable's residence. Only its experiment. 
I was under the impression you were a professional. No pony can hear that and... No pony can hear that and continue not caring. They don't have to be in pain anymore. They can rebuild. You have no choice in this scenario. I... If you do not comply, it is my function to inform security and have you expunged from the stable. You will die in the waste. But just let me... Analyst. Fine. I'm sorry, Pinkin. Here I stand, my heart at your command. What will the verdict be while I'm awaiting your answer? Please believe me. I'll never make the same mistake again. Oh.